to another edition of Market Marauder. So today we're going to be going over Fuel Cell Energy Incorporated. Uh, today they had an amazing day. Um, as you can see, the stock price went from, you know, in the lower 50s to all the way to 62. But I've been following it for a while, so, you know, I was kind of expecting this um, to transpire uh, with their earnings, especially with their new CEO. Um First things first, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, give it a thumbs up, like it, comment, share it, and then we're going to go over uh, the book of today, so if you guys are wondering how I find my picks and stuff, how I pick stocks, I read books all the time and it just helps me out, um, so the book that's going to be sponsored today is Market Wizards, this is by uh, Jack D. Schwagger, so you know, check that book out, uh, it's a good read. Um, and then we're going to jump into it. So for fuel cell energy, the reports for the third quarter fiscal 2019 came out. It's going to touch on some of the highlights. Uh, so as I said, you know, they appointed the new CEO, uh, Jason Few. Uh, so that was effective on the 26th of August. And, you know, we're just basically waiting to see uh, what the earnings were going to be after he was appointed. And this is the earnings. So on some of the highlights, um, they said that they entered into a $10 million license agreement with ExxonMobil Research and Engineering Company, uh, which, you know, ExxonMobil is a really big company, and, you know, they're moving, you know, not from oil, but, you know, they're adding um, different things to their spectrum as it results to energy. And this company makes a lot of the fuel cells, which, you know, it's kind of a buzzword nowadays, but just renewable energy in general is a good field to go into. Um, also, it said they celebrated the one-year anniversary of strong performance uh, with 20 megawatts, the KOSPO project in South Korea. Um, they also said they relaunched a sub-megawatt distributed generation solution to the European market with ShareSource 250 and ShareSource 400 fuel cell systems. So these are like their smaller systems uh and they're sub megawatts they're not like the big ones that they have no they have like the 1500 i think it's the 3000 as well uh you know they're big fuel cell systems these are like smaller scale ones so then we're gonna go into uh one of the biggest things in my opinion is their total revenue increased 88 percent to 22.7 million so you know anytime a company can increase their revenue you know especially that much um, it's always a great thing, um, and, you know, the company makes a good product, they have a lot of customers, uh, just the main grievance that I personally had is that they were backlogged so much on their orders, and, you know, they've explained that Blacklog and Project awarded total $2.1 billion at the end of the third year, compared to uh, $1.9 billion at the end of, of the third quarter, uh, so, you know, their backlog was uh, $2.1 billion, now it's $1.9 billion, which just basically means that, you know, they're fulfilling orders, but it has been a slow process. And I think that, you know, this new CEO will help them uh, to move forward with uh, fulfilling more of those orders as well as gaining more contracts as well. Um, so that's just a brief synopsis of what's going on. Uh, going back to the chart, you know, it's, it's, it's taken off. Um, so anybody who saw the position, uh, from here, you know, going on, it's been a really good day and, you know, I'm glad people didn't short it, uh, uh, which you usually see in a lot of stocks people hold, especially with penny stocks, people hold it and then they'll short it. Um, but you know, it just shows that people have a lot of faith in the company and where it's going moving forward. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, comment, like, share. Uh, thanks for watching another episode of Market Marauders.